Hey there, teachers and students. My name is Benjamin, and I teach teachers the skills they need to pass certification exams. This is my series covering the Texas Math 7 through 12 exam. This video is going to be part three in the section covering competency one, which requires the teacher to understand the real number system. So the next topic we are going to be covering is equivalent representations. Now, as you can see here on the screen, rational numbers are commonly represented in three different forms. One form is fractions. Of course, you see an example, three over four. This is a fraction. Another name for this is a ratio. Another way that you might see a rational number written is as a decimal. And that's when you're gonna see some number to the left and some number to the right of a decimal point. A lot of times it'll just be zero to the left, but there's always gonna at least be something to the right. In this case, it's 0 0.75. The third way that you're going to see rational numbers be represented is as percentages. And what you're going to see here is some notes on how to convert numbers between those forms. So as you can see here, the way that we would convert a fraction to a decimal is we would take the numerator of our fraction and we would divide that numerator by the denominator. So if you did some long division in three divided by four, what you'd come up with is 0 0.75. And if you want to move or convert that decimal number into a percentage, it's really easy. All you have to do is move that decimal point two places to the right and throw on a percentage sign. So you'll see that 0 0.75. I moved that decimal two places to the right here. And what it does is it basically goes away if there's nothing more to the right of it. And then I just throw on a percentage sign. So 0 0.75 is equivalent to 75%. Now, of course, you can go the other direction. If I have a percentage and I want to convert it to a decimal, all I have to do is, you know, imagine that there is some decimal here, move it two places to the left, and then get rid of my percentage, and then I'm left with 0 0.75. All right, we're gonna discuss how to convert from a decimal to a fraction in a little bit. It's slightly more complicated, but before we do, I want to discuss one more representation that you have to keep in mind, and that's exponentiation. So for example, if you have 5 times 5 times 5, this can be written as the exponent 5 to the power of 3. And what that means is some term that's looking for the product if you have the factor of 5 three times, if you're given three factors of 5. All right. So let's go over some examples of why this information is important, some questions you might be asked on an exam or elsewhere. So our first question here says, write the number 0 0.5 as a percentage and a fraction. So I'm given the number 0 0.5. Let's write in red so we know what the answer is. I'm given the number 0 0.5. And first off, if I want to write this as a percentage, I'm going to go ahead and follow my rule from the notes on the first page. And I'm going to say that I'm just going to take this decimal and I'm going to move it two places to the right. All right. So now I have an empty place here. So I'm going to have to add in a zero as a placeholder. And then I need to throw on a percentage sign. So what that actually looks like is 50%. Hopefully you can see that pretty clearly. Now, if I want to take my 0 0.5 and I want to convert it to a fraction, well, I'm going to have to think about how many places after the decimal there are. In this case, I only have one place after the decimal, the tenths place, okay? So if I only have a number in the tenths place, then I want to take that number that's to the right of the decimal, and I want to put it over 10. Now, this is an equivalent fraction. The problem here is that it's not fully simplified. So you can actually factor out a 5 from both 5 and 10. That leaves you with just... 1 over 2. So 1 over 2 is going to be a fraction in the most simplified form that is equivalent to 0 0.5. We'll, do, we'll make up one more example of that at the end so that uh, we, we feel comfortable with this. The next question here, though, says, write the number 1 over 3, or 1 third, as a decimal and percentage. So this one's going to be a little bit interesting. First, I'm going to take my numerator. The numerator is 1, and I'm going to divide it by 3. 3 doesn't go into 1, so I'm going to go ahead and put a 0 here, all right? And then I'm going to place a decimal right there, all right? So, of course, 3 times 0 is 0, and if I subtract um, 0 from 1, I will get 1. I need to put a 0 as a placeholder here and bring it down. 3 goes into 10 3 times, and 3 times 3 is 9. So now we're going to be going into this infinite loop of 3s. 
And so what I can say is that one third written as a decimal is going to give me the decimal 0 0.3. And instead of writing an infinite amount of threes, then I'm just going to put a bar above the three. And this is going to be 0 0.3 repeating. And that's what we're going to call this. This is a rational number. By definition, repeating decimals are rational. So that's absolutely fine. How am I going to go ahead then and write this as a percentage? Okay, well, I need to move the decimal place over three times in order to write it as a percentage. So I'm going to go ahead and just write out a couple of these threes. 0 0.333. And moving that decimal over twice will put it in between the second and third three. I'm going to go ahead and leave that third three so I can show that it's repeating. And I'm going to write it like this. 33.3 repeating percent. Awesome. So those were the only two examples that I had written down for us, but I wanted to show one more example of us converting a decimal to a fraction. So let me go ahead and create a new page here and let's see, maybe let's try 90%. All right, 90% written as a decimal is going to be 0 0.9. And if I wanted to go ahead and take that and write it as a fraction, then I'm going to see, okay, how many numbers do I have after the decimal? Only one. This is going to be the tenths place. So I'm going to take that nine and I'm going to put it over 10. This cannot be simplified any further. So that is going to be the most simple form. All right, so 90% is equivalent to 0 0.9, which is equivalent to 9 over 10. That's all for this topic. If you have any questions or need further practice, don't hesitate to get in touch with me via the email address listed below. Also, smash the like button if you don't mind. But more importantly, share this resource with other teachers who might need it. I'll see you in the next one.